Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine. If you are new here and if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's good? We are back with a new video. Your girl's gonna be getting cute today because I'm actually going to brunch. So today's gonna be a really cute get ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair first and then we're gonna get into makeup and I'm gonna show you my outfits and then we gonna go to brunch. I might even vlog at brunch, you know? Like, your girl's feeling extra, extra today. I don't even know. So if you guys are excited for today's video, then make sure you keep watching. Of course, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the tribe because we're growing every single day. I love you guys so much and yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm filming on my new camera and I really hope that everything is just looking good because right now it looks good. But I don't know, it could look a little different in a playback. So fingers crossed that it looks good. The sun is kind of playing with me right now because I want to play peekaboo, but whatever. We already washed our hair. I slicked it back. I have two braids at the back of my head. I'm not doing anything more than that. Um, today's video is sponsored by Wiggins Hair. Shout out to Wiggins Hair for sending me this gorgeous wig that I'm about to put on. But before I do that, I need to put my wig cap on. So they sent some wig caps inside of my little baggie with my wig. So I'm not going to be doing like, um, this is a closure unit. So I'm not doing the bald cap method in totality. I'm literally just putting this on so it could like help tuck my braids in the back and like make them lie flat because I don't want any, you know, anything to stick out but like I'm not even gonna it's gonna stay like right here because I think I'm also gonna pull my edges out because it's a closure unit I already bleached the knots on these wig on this wig and I tinted actually I didn't even tint the lace I just bleached the knots and I toned the knots after I bleached them so it looks super like scalp like it's just giving really natural so i'm actually super excited to put this on but before i do that i just want to show you what the wig looks like this is washed and air dried so this is like the natural texture of the hair it's super pretty i think this would be really good vacation hair as well i actually have a trip coming up and i'm like debating on whether or not i want to wear this on the trip i don't like wearing wigs on trips because i've done it before and it's just like you don't have to take it off and reapply it and do i want to give myself that extra work i don't know but if you're one of those girlies and you're looking for really nice vacation hair like this texture is just so pretty high shine i didn't dye it or anything it's like a true black like a 1d color which i really like and the lace is super thin and the knots on the lace are very small because <laughs> we're not here for big knots in 2023 we're saying no to any with big knots because I'm not doing that. And then on the inside, so it's a closure unit, tracks down the middle and the back, you know, how it goes. You got combs all throughout and then the adjustable straps. I need to actually get my foundation so I could tint my lace. That's what I need to do before I stick it on. Dang, I thought I was recording, but I put the foundation on my bald cap as you guys can see I only did it in the center because closure remember and then I'm taking foundation and I'm doing the same for the lace just a little foundation nothing so crazy so this is the moment of truth yes and it's a perfect fit it's actually big enough Because I'm gonna pull my edges out in the front or well, along the sides, I'm gonna kind of sit this back a little so it looks more natural instead of like bringing it all the way down. And I'm gonna take this Wonder Lace Bond adhesive spray, the black one. I'm gonna spray it right into this hairline. I like to push it in with my fingers first to kind of just like push the spray into the lace and then into my skin and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on cool and I'm gonna just cool this until it's stuck okay so now that it's stuck down let's see if they sent a little band they did then well, I'll probably leave this on for like 10 minutes 5 10 minutes yeah 
And while that's melting, I'm actually gonna define my curls. This is such pretty hair though. The brushed out messy look is so cute. I wanna kinda cut this a little. I plug my hot comb in. I'm gonna take my wax stick from Cantu and I'm just gonna press out my parts. You guys know I gotta do this no matter what. Like, I don't care what texture the hair is. You gotta press that part out, babe. You gotta use the thick side of the comb. And you gotta press that part. You gotta press that part. It's still getting really hot, so I'm gonna do this again, but I'm so impatient, so. And I feel like I over bleached my, not, not over bleached, but like the bleach got onto the hair a little bit. So I'm gonna fix the part, but that's like last steps. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. I want to cut my lace off. Ew. I'm not trying to do too much at all. It's my lace being darker than me, but that's because I'm a pale ass bitch now. One and two. I'm about to put makeup on anyway, so it don't matter. Okay, I'm gonna put my band back on. I just need you to get that in order. I think I'm gonna cut this wig a little. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. You guys know I'm no profesh. I'm gonna take this top section, this section, and this section, like that. Am I gonna do this? Am I really doing this? And I'm gonna cut the top just like straight across. Okay, I'm cutting. I already got the scissors in my hand, child. Already got the scissors in my hand. I'm not mad at that. It gave it like some more shape, you know? Let me do this side. Okay. I want like a bang, not the bang. I don't know, I feel like you're not supposed to wear wigs just, just straight out, just straight out the box. Like not do nothing to it. Cause I feel like nine times out of 10, you give it a trim, it actually makes it look fuller. Of course we want long hair, we want inches. But you want it to look good too, you know? Like sometimes you just need to trim like an inch off. Cut two inches off that bitch. Like just give it a little bit, just give it a little bit of something, you know? That's my personal opinion. I feel like you see hairstylists on Instagram, like Tay and stuff, and Jonathan, and literally anybody that does hair, I guarantee you they're cutting the hair. Y'all know Tay be cutting them, them wigs up. It just looks better when it actually has a cut to it. Like, aside from styling, don't come for me. I love it already. It looks so pretty. You see how I don't even like fully part? That's how you know I just be on bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna cut under. Not bad, not bad. If she get it hard that I make the bitch buzz and I get the bitch tired every time that I post, then it's a part of my life that I'd rather not go. Why would I go? If she get it hard that I make the bitch buzz and I get the bitch tired every time that I post. How could I lose if I'm already chose? Like, so pretty. I want like one more short layer right here on the sides. All right. I got my spray bottle. This has leave-in conditioner and water. And I'm just gonna wet the hair. I'm sitting on a towel also. And then take some of my Lotta Body mousse. And I'm gonna apply that to, and then brush. We're on a time crunch, so you know. We gotta move with swiftness, but I think we'll be good. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this Heritage Curl Cream. I use this on my natural hair and I like it, so. And I think it's for like all curl types. I'm gonna take some of this and just apply it 
to these curls, honey. This hair is so pretty. Like, oh really, it's so pretty. I just can't get over it. I want my natural hair to look like this. But my curls are definitely tighter. This is defined versus not. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I finished defining these curls. They look so pretty. I'm going to clip my hair back in the front. Let's go back up here. Oh, you guys, I haven't done my makeup. I haven't done my makeup with you guys like this in so long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I already did my skincare, primed my face, not primed my face, did my toner and stuff. I'm gonna go in with this. Ula Hendri Henriksen Peptide Moisturizer. It's so freaking bomb. This stuff is so bomb. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed. This moisturizer is so good. It feels so silky. I love the way it feels underneath my makeup. I'm gonna rub that in. And honestly, I'm not going for like a super dramatic look. I kind of just want to really pretty swapped look. I'm gonna take my Benefits 24 hour brow setter and brush this through. I also like to use edge control, but I'm being lazy because I don't feel like getting back up because I've gotten up like 60 billion times. So I don't feel like getting up again. So we're just gonna use this. Push it in. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna go on with this Smashbox Halo Primer. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which I really like, and it's illuminating. It gives the skin like a really pretty glow. So I've been using this as a primer because I'm not going in with like your traditional primer. Foundation, this is from Huda Beauty. Foundation stick in the shade 400G Macchiato. And I just apply this all over my face. I kind of leave the center of my face bare because I know I'm gonna go in with like a lot of concealer and stuff, so I don't wanna pack on too much product. And then I blend that out, and I like using a kabuki brush, like a flat, dense brush. This one is from A Cosmetics. It's a Skin Smoothing Complexion number 704. And I just push this into the skin like a stippling motion and then blend out my forehead. If I do my brows first, I'll spend way too much time on them, which is why I do it this way, because I used to do that years ago. But what really taught me to like move fast when I do my makeup is doing makeup on other people when I was a MAC makeup artist. And I used to spend so much time when I started with brows. Like I would be there spending 15 minutes on brows. You don't got that kind of time. Now I can do a whole face like in no time. This is my Rare Beauty. Look at it, it's empty anymore. It's my Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 320W. I really, really like this. You know why I haven't done makeup content? I haven't been buying makeup. I don't get makeup PR, one. I get like straight skincare. Like I literally got like four boxes of skincare PR this week alone. I don't really like feel inclined to do makeup content because I've been using the same products forever at this point. <laughs> like literally. Look at my Fenty Matchstick. It's Chow, it's not even enough. That's the real, like, that's the real tea. Your girl don't be buying makeup. Makeup is expensive, one. And two, if it works, then why would I switch up? Like, I'm past my buying makeup for fun phase or like buying into every collection because I want the packaging or whatever the hell. I'm past that. That was me years ago. I know what works for me and I stick to it. Cause if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Y'all have seen me do the same routine a hundred billion times now. Y'all still want it? Really? Y'all like me that much? Y'all really want it that bad? What? Started applying my contour like this because it's empty, but I like applying it with a brush as opposed to drawing it on. It's more precise. You just have to build it up. Well, I have to build it up because this shit is empty, but. <laughs> Fenty Concealer in the shade 310. This is like my highlight shade. This also is almost done. But I'm gonna use it until they ain't no more left. I like customizing the shades on my face. Like not one thing is perfect, you know? But when it comes to concealer, like I don't want it too yellow, but I don't want it too pale either. Then I go back in with the foundation brush and I blend out the contour. 
and I always start from the bottom and work my way up. So blend that out. Make sure not to touch the concealer just yet. You want to let it sit, dry down so it has more coverage. And when you're blending the contour out, you want to push it forward and up, like towards. You don't want to bring it down when you blend out. You want to blend that way because that's what's going to create the shadow of lifted cheekbones. Oh, and I always do my nose last. Contour is blended out. It's looking good already if you ask me. Blend this out right here. Stippling, stippling. Pat it in place. Don't drag, pat it. Avoid the brows as much as possible. Do the tan, tan, tan on your chin. And then I take like this dense fluffy brush. This gives me like beauty blender but as a brush. And I start to blend out my under eye. And again, I'm patting, never dragging, just patting. So pretty. <laughs> Oh my god. Bring it in. And when you start to blend out the concealer closest to your nose, you're going to press it up until it meets the until it meets the contour. Hold on. Yeah, you're gonna bring it up to the sides of the nose right until it meets the contour, but not blending out the contour yet. And then I've been going in with this Smashbox and Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Brightener in the shade Fair Light. They actually sent this to me on accident. Like they didn't have an, the darker shade I think available, so they just sent me the lighter one. But I actually kind of like it. It has a very pink undertone and you know that trend of like the really like bright pink like soft under eye that's been super trendy on TikTok. I like to use this to create that effect. So I take it on a brush and I run it right under my eye and I only apply it in this area. Only is going in my crevice of my eye like that. And I'm gonna just let that sit for a little bit before I blend it out. And I'm gonna take my Fenty brush and I'm gonna blend out this nose contour now. And I always push the contour up into my brows. It kinda just creates more of a sunken in lid because I have very big eyes, but I don't have like, they're not like hooded or anything. Like they're kind of flat, especially like from the side if you were to look at my profile. So I like to just create that shadow in my crease with my contour. And then I always feel like I don't really need to put on eye makeup because of it too. Now, going back in with this brush, that concealer one more time, the brightener, we're just gonna press it in. And I always like to overlap like the lighter on top of the darker because it just blends it together really nice. I don't like any kind of like harsh lines on my face. I like my makeup to look super smooth and blended. Oh, crrr. and then I usually take my finger and I blend out the middle. And then I'll take the brush, kind of just go over everything. You see, it's just so blended. And then I like to go in with my powder. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread. I'm gonna put that under my eye. Just a little, just to set the under eye. Can't forget our blush. I love the Rare Beauty, the Rare Beauty Cream Blush in Joy. Two dots. I like this one. It's like a, I forgot what these kind of brushes are called, but this is from the lip bar. And I like to just circle motion up into my temple. And then whatever's remaining, I put on my nose okay a little bit of blush bring the color back into your face then i'm gonna go with my charlotte tilbury don't don't say anything about the way this palette looks okay in the shade number three look it got the whole everything i'm not embarrassed actually because i'm getting my money's worked <laughs> this stuff is not cheap it's not it really is not mac the 135 i got an original Horse hair, Peter don't come for me. The original, like real hair brushes of these MAC brushes versus the synthetic ones they came out with. <sighs> the real hair is where it's at. They're so much better, in my opinion. And I was there, I worked there when they did that. And I was like, y'all is not taking my, y'all not drinking my brushes. Y'all not drinking my brushes. I'm sorry, y'all not taking them. Like, they try to swap everybody out for them synthetic babe y'all not taking mine but yeah this is my 
pride and joy like she's been through it and then i like to take a little brush oh my god i can't find it and i have the charlotte tilbury um flawless finish powder in the shade three i originally got this to set my under eye it's way too dark for that it actually works as a contour shade so i use this to do my nose because it's not as dark as the bronzer it's like a little bit lighter and it just gives me a softer effect underneath and then i do right along the top here because i want to create that little my blush pride and joy benefit cosmetics uh what is this california it's just like a peachy blush and i don't know i like it then i like to take another face powder but this one's lighter also from benefit cosmetics this is the hello happy foundation powder in the shade five and i take this on a dry sponge and i press it into the sides of my nose i especially do this when i know i'm gonna wear glasses like sunglasses because it's just like extra powder in this area so it doesn't transfer as bad but i take this and i set the sides of my nose to really like make my contour pop and it just snatches my nose in I don't know if you guys can see that, but hold on. It look a little crazy, right? Then take the brush. We use the applier setting powder. I'm just gonna like dust away the excess. Okay, we're doing good on time. I need to do my brows. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Ami Cole. What is this called? Ami Cole on point precision brow pencil in the shade medium brown, which is number four also. I just like a very natural brow. I like to fill in any little gaps I might have. I kind of define the front of my brow. I always line the bottom just to give it more shape. Ooh, that brow gel worked, babe. Because these hairs is not going nowhere. This brow always comes out so bomb. Like, this is my favorite brow. She's my favorite child. My brows are already stuck down, but I'm going with a little bit more. Because I like um doing the gel afterwards because it gives the hairs like, I don't know, it makes them like show up more. It's like they're more defined. Now I'm going to set my face MAC Fix Plus. We're gonna do a little bit of highlight. The only highlighter I use. If I'm gonna wear highlight, it's gonna be this one. And sometimes I don't be wearing highlight at all. But if I ever wear highlighter, it'll be this one. Fenty, the Diamond Bomb, and how many carrots? Y'all know. Y'all know. Hey, y'all. What does he say? Hey, y'all. Y'all already know who it is. It's Topher. And, um, I think Olivia. I'm gonna just do a little bit. It's kinda hitting the apples, you know? I'm gonna do a little bit on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna do mascara. Benefit their real magnet mascara. I like her because she's extra black. Um, I'm gonna have to glue on lashes because I clearly have no lashes, which is okay. I think I'm gonna do a little, a little baby wing. These lashes will be linked on my Amazon storefront. I got them off Amazon. It came in a pack of six for $7.99. I love this liner from Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. House Lavatories. Super, super good. I love this liner. I'm just doing, I'm not even gonna put a wing on it. I'm just lining my lid. I just wanna be a pretty princess. I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna look pretty. Please don't mind me, I'd be saying anything. I have to squeeze it together, so give me like, let, let it dry. And I feel like these would make good lashes if you were to cut them up and do the falscara with them because they're so curled, like they would just sit really nicely under your, your eye too. But I don't have time to do that. I'm doing chestnut lip liner. Friends and Nude from MAC. I really played up that Cupid's bow chip. This is the lip gloss from Patrick Ta, the lip plumping gloss. I really love this like dark liner. Like I'm in my full on Chola girl era. Like I kid you not. I love it. But let's unclip this and this. 
unclip this and this. Oh, and then for heart, I like to take a little bit. I could take eyeliner or you could take eyeshadow. I'm going to apply that right the hair as a little. And then you can take, because you put the powder down, it's easier to go in with eyeliner because there's like product there. I just use the eyeliner. Kind of like straighten up my part. Perfect. And then, girl, I know there's so many steps to looking like a bad bitch. There's so many steps. I'm going to take this concealer and put some in my part. That looks so good. Ah! Oh, I look like a tool. I look like a tool. I wanted this hair. This hair is so pretty. I wanted it to be, I mean, kind of bigger, but look at how pretty this is. Wow. In love. I didn't even have to. But if I want to pull out my hair right here in the front, kind of just. So if I want to do a, a tuck on this side, I can, and I'll just leave the other side down. But. Okay, I need to get dressed, and I need to do it so fast because we gotta go. So, but yeah, this is the completed makeup in here. So, make sure you guys check out Wiggins down below in the description box. I'll have links to this hair, all the specs, everything down for you and any discount codes i can get those will be down in the description box as well i hope you liked doing our makeup together but yeah like i need to get dressed okay so i got dressed you guys i ordered these pants off of instagram they were like suggested to me from like instagram shopping look at how good they fit me they're like a cargo and they have this really cute like zipper detail where like this is how the pants zip up right here i'm obsessed and then I just threw on this little cropped white shirt. I'm obsessed. <laughs> like it's giving buddy yeti yeti. I'm running late. I gotta go. So um, I think I'm gonna put on sunglasses, but I haven't decided which ones. But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys there. Love you. Bye. I just ordered another drink and I'm thinking about doing the Zinfandel braised short rib. So, oh, and we're gonna do Brussels sprouts. Should we do two appetizers? Um, yeah, yeah we could do Brussels sprouts and calamari. Yeah, let's do that. Some broccoli, it looks so good. Also, it's really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so funny.